Welcome to Explainer Insight. Today, I'm going to explain an adventure movie called Perfume, released in the year 2006. Perfume tells the story of Jean-Baptiste Grenouil, a young man born with an extraordinary sense of smell. Set in 18th century France, the film takes us on a journey through the darkest corners of Grenouil's mind as he becomes obsessed with capturing the essence of beauty in the form of scents. At the beginning of the movie, we see a dangerous prisoner named Jean, who is a prisoner in a very big prison, and then his guard comes there and takes him out in front of the public. Everyone started cursing when they saw Jean, because everyone hated him. Jean will be executed two days later, whenever the district says everyone is very happy to hear it. And from here, the story of this movie goes to flashback, where a woman is seen selling fish at a fish market. She gives birth to a baby. She thinks her baby is not alive, so she leaves him there. But after a while, the baby starts crying. Everyone looks at the baby, and everyone starts saying slang to the one who gave birth to the baby. The woman was arrested because everyone thought she had deliberately left the baby there. She was then sentenced to death. The child the woman gave birth to who is currently being hanged means Jean. Jean was sent to an orphanage because he had no honor but his condition was not good. The kids who were there were trying to kill Jean because they thought that if Jean came here, he would take the place of one of them. Then the owner of that ashram comes there and punishes all of them. Gradually, time passes. Jean becomes five years old, but five years later, he still hasn't said a word. In fact, he can't say, but he has a superhuman ability to smell a lot. He detects anything by smell. Thus, slowly, he spends his time in the orphanage. Now, he is 13 years old. 13 years later, the owner of the orphanage sold Jean to a man who sold animal skins. After the sale, some robbers attacked him and took all his money. In fact, there was something special about Jean. The man who took him away from himself. The man who died as if first his mother died, and now the woman who had an orphanage. Then the man who bought Jean took him to the market. He does a lot of work with Jean. First, he takes Jean to a market in Paris, where Jean finds a very nice perfume, and he follows the perfume and arrives outside a showroom. This showroom was a perfume showroom. Everyone that was looking and tests the perfumes. Jean likes this perfume very much. Then Jean gets another perfume. When he follows the perfume, he sees it coming from a fruit-selling girl. Jean goes to her. The girl thinks Jean is a beggar, so he gives her two fruits. But Jean grabbed her hand and tried to smell her. As a result, the girl got scared and ran away. But Jean had a smell-finding superhuman ability. That's why, it's why he sniffed and reached out to the girl. When the girl saw him, she started screaming in fear. Then Jean pressed his mouth. If he keeps shouting, everyone will come here and him hard. After a while, when Jean removed his hand from the girl's mouth, he saw that she was dead. Then, he shows the girl. He sees that there is no smell coming from her. There were many people in Paris who made perfumes. One of them was Baldini, a very famous rich man. Now, no one goes to her perfume shop. Then Baldini's assistant brings a bottle of perfume, which he has just made. But Baldini doesn't want to try that perfume, and he tries to make another perfume herself. But then, he tries his assistant's perfume and tries to find out what he has mixed in that perfume. But even after trying many times, I can't find it. Jean came to her house at night, at night to deliver food. As soon as Jean enters her home, he begins to smell all the perfume he has. Jean also smells perfume from Baldini's hands. Then he says that the perfume that Baldini has applied is not good because he used some superfluous things there. Upon hearing this, Baldini thinks that there is something special about Jean, so he asks him about the perfume formula to take his test. But Jean couldn't answer him because he didn't know how to read. He did not know what does the formula mean. But he will make the same perfume for him as Baldini, and he will make her the same perfume. When he tries on that perfume, he realizes there must be something special about this boy. Then Jean says, I can make a better perfume than this. Then when he makes it perfume, Baldini doesn't try this perfume. He chases him away. 
When Baldini tests the perfume after he leaves, he thinks that he has gone to heaven. The next day, Baldini buys Jim from the man. Then, while Baldini was taking Jim away, the previous man died. Baldini then teaches Jean how to make perfume. At the same time, he also told Jean that there are 1,213 kinds of perfumes in this world. But no one could make perfume number 13. And if anyone could make that number 13 perfume, then this perfume would be the best perfume in the world. On hearing this, Jean told Baldini that he would make the 13th perfume. Jean then began making perfumes for Baldini, and gradually the perfume became famous throughout the city. And all the people in town buy perfume only from his shop. Baldini then teaches Jean all the other methods of making perfume. But Jean was not happy with his method, because, because they still lack something in this method for which he could not make perfume. Number 13. Because of this, Baldini was very worried about getting sick, because if he dies, his perfume work will stop again. Then one day, Baldini tells Jean that if he wants to make perfume number 13, he has to go. Grass, which was in France. But before leaving, Baldini learns 100 different methods from Jean, and instead, he gives her some money to spend. Jean then left for Grassy City to make perfume number 13. After he left, Baldini's house suddenly collapsed and he died. Meanwhile, Jean Grass arrives, and there he works for a woman that he does not learn how to extract fragrance from animal fats. Then Jean wanted to use this method on humans. So he kidnaps a girl and tries to get the perfume out of her body. But, but he fails. He then kills a prostitute and applies another method to her, this time succeeding in extracting the Jean perfume because now he has learned well how to extract fragrance from people. Jean then takes out the perfume from the different girls and decides to make perfume from it. That's why he goes to a party. And from there, he kidnapped the twin sisters. Then we are shown that Jean has made two different scented perfumes. From that, we know that Jean has killed those twin sisters. Jean then kidnaps and kills many girls in the city, making 12 perfumes. The disappearance of the girls of the city caused a commotion in the whole city, and everyone started locking up outside their house. The whole city is under curfew, and girls are not allowed to leave their homes. Then we see a famous, responsible person named Anthony. Then an atmosphere of fear was created in the whole city, and everyone goes to the church to ask the father for help. Just then, a man came running up and said, All right, he found that guilty. But Anthony doesn't believe it, because the man who kidnapped so many girls can't be caught so quickly. Now, Anthony is worried about his daughter Laura, because she was the most beautiful in town, and maybe Jean's next target was Laura. So Anthony Grasso decided to leave and left as Laura was leaving town. Jean smelt her, and he continues to follow Laura. Jean had that prostitute's dog, which sniffed the smell of his mistress, and took out his clothes, buried in the ground, which a man there sees. The man called the police, and after an investigation, found the clothes and hair of all the girls whose jeans had been killed. Laura and Anthony on the other side, st stay at the hotel. And after Anthony sleeping at night, Jean kills Laura. Now, another perfume is made for Jean, and they combine those perfumes to make the 13th perfume. But then a police came there, and they arrest Jean. And from here, the story of the movie comes back to the present. Jean is sentenced to death, and everyone leaves to see him. Jean apply the perfume she made on her body. After smelling it, the man who was punishing him said Jean was innocent. He puts the perfume on a handkerchief and sways it in the air. And as a result, everyone gets the scent of that perfume. Then, everyone started loving each other. Then Jean thinks he's wrong. And in his mind, comes the girl he killed for the first time. Jean thinks that if he hadn't killed the girl that day, he might have stayed with her and could love him with that sadness. He leaves and arrives at the fish market where he was born. Then she poured her perfume bottle on herself. Those who were sitting next to him got the scent and jumped on Jean and killing him. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to explain your favorite movie. Until next time, 
Take care.